Hey everyone, Nick Bohr here with Inspire Wealth. I uh, want to do another video specific to work optional and what does that look like? I did an initial video just talking about some of the basics. Today, I really want to talk about some of the other things you should be thinking about after things like paying off debt and uh, making sure that you kind of have some emergency funds laid out. So some of the additional thoughts that I would uh, make sure you're thinking about are making sure that you have a good balance as far as where your investments are. Don't have the vast majority in retirement accounts, especially pre-tax retirement accounts. If you're trying to get to the point where you can be work optional uh, at, at 50 or 55, I would absolutely be thinking about things like making sure you're taking advantage of a Roth IRA. If you are eligible, max that out. Uh, I would also try to accumulate non-IRA investment accounts. Things just like brokerage accounts that have stocks, bonds, mutual funds, because that's money you can access before 59 and a half without any costs or fees or penalties. The other thing is I would absolutely make sure you have a good chunk of cash on hand to make sure that as you step away from your primary career, that you have six to 12 months of expenses and even a little bit of discretionary expenses for that transition. So six to 12 months. So if your monthly expenses are 5,000 a month, that's 60,000 a year, I would probably have 75, maybe even as much as 100,000 in emergency reserves to make sure no matter how long it takes to either A, find a part-time job or B, start that next venture as an entrepreneur, whatever it looks like, and give yourself time to build up what you really want to do so that you're not going into retirement accounts at 50 or 55. Uh, and then again, I would have the backup of the non-IRA investment accounts so that you have some backup on top of the cash. Uh, those are initial thoughts. I would also try to make sure that the bigger chunk is already been taxed on your accounts so that if you go to an investment account, you're only being taxed at cap gains. You're not going to be taxed at ordinary income and potential additional penalties because you're under 59 and a half. So hope this helps. Uh, this is a, a lot of good information that you just want to make sure you're thinking about if you are trying to get to that work optional mindset and point before 60 or 65. Nick Bohr here with Inspire Wealth. Please don't hesitate to reach out. We want to be a resource. We do want to help the community. So please know we're here and I hope to talk to you very soon. Thanks. Have a good day.